Hello everyone, Corn here. Welcome to my channel. And you all know I have been working on my little version of a traveler's junk journal. It's a combination of a traveler's notebook and a junk journal. <laughs> because there's no laminating or anything like that. And to kind of help me get through all this stuff that we're going through. And... Uh, as a nation, well, as the whole world is going through. And uh, unfortunately, they just keep giving me um, updates on my radio station about how many people we have lost to this virus throughout the world. And it's just, it's heartbreaking, isn't it? And I was going to go in one direction, but I ended up going in a whole lot of directions. I'm not going to pull everything out and show you guys because the pages aren't even um, sewn in yet. But um, I did think if we could do some envelope pockets, um, we could work on those together today. And they will be going, let's see, probably back in here. And what I decided to do with this was just, or maybe, you know, here, this is very busy, but maybe in this, on this one. And now there's the back of it. And um, I just thought maybe I'd take a trip back in time, really. <laughs> back to a time where things were a little bit different during Victorian times, weren't they? So, and, and there's a lot of things that remind me of positive things that have happened in my life, too, in the past. So, I, I do have to say that that's in the journal, too. But I'll do a project share on that. So, um, thought you all might be interested. We did this together last time with our two bags that we put together to make his pocket, his pocket, his pocket. That was just fun, wasn't it? That I really... A lot of people said that, um, that watched the video, said that they were thinking about um, doing it. Um, Annie's thinking about putting it in a card, and I agree with that 100%. I was thinking the same thing, either on the front of the card or on the inside of the card. And if someone is making their own junk journal or a junk journal for somebody else, they can, you know, um, choose to use it or not to. I just I thought that was a great idea. I was thinking along the same lines myself. And uh, that's how it turned out with the ribbons and lace on that. And I did make another tag out of this uh, paper that looks like lace. I did make another tag because I just thought that spot looked empty. <laughs> so let's start to do, let's work together with the envelopes. Now, as you all know, um, you can make your own envelope, which I did using this little teeny tiny envelope punch board. A lot of people went to Tuesday morning and got this. Um, boy, that was months ago at a good price, but I didn't wasn't able to do that, so I got mine on Amazon. And this envelope that I made, because remember my pages are narrow, but you can make it wider than this. This ended up, this is a, let's see, a two by, two and a half by two and a half card size. And then the paper size is four and an eighth by four and an eighth. Okay. If you do not have one of these, I would recommend going to see Little Hot Tamales um, video on I haven't seen it for like two years, but I used to use her. She has directions, she has a tutorial, and she may have a template too. So she's she's fantastic. She really is. Um, so I did mine there, and then I inked around all of the edges, as you see. And then since the back of this um, paper is a stark white. I went ahead and took uh, 
my vintage photo and after going around the edges just did the inside too and of this because I just I, I wanted to see that and you know if you keep it open like this on a page let's see let's go back to that if you keep it open it is just so adorable um, and of course if you choose not to put it in a pocket um, but choose to make it the pocket like wherever you want you can put it here, here you know wherever you'd like um, and then you just glue the back of it but um, I made this this is just a piece of paper folded over and then I took my Tombow marker number 761 and went around it I don't know if you can tell or not if that's picking it up to make your own little card that goes in here and there's some more of that uh, paper with the lace that I just fussy cut that a little piece out and glued on top then remember the uh, stickers I got that were so I said translucent I think transparent almost I put them I backed them on white cardstock and I thought it would be cute to have her looking out like that and do you remember my stamperia paper this is one of the kind of parts that I fell in love with this white picket fence and so you know you can make it like so and then have it here isn't that pretty I just I'm not saying what I did it's, I'm just saying the paper itself is so pretty that was this paper is from Michael's one of their um hot buys and um I don't remember where the pink behind here is from or the lace one I'm not sure I think that's a hot buy too the lace one but just to kind of and then you know I can write here and here and here but just have a little spot you know with this in it you can also if that's not what you have I'm going to leave this open set it over here we already saw that and um, I also make as you saw instead of a little, uh, a little longer one and uh, then ink around the edges and then come out with the ink on my corners. I love doing that for some reason. <laughs> and I also did the inside because it's just such a stark white. Although I love stark white. I just wanted to tone it down a little bit, add more interest. And then this is an ephemera piece by Tim Holtz. And so I did that. That can go in there too or in the one we're going to work on. Um, as I said, if you don't want to do either, you'd just rather buy them. I did get this envelope. It's very slick. Um, this one at, uh, Michael's, boy, two years ago. And, um, what I did, because it had, a, this is already pre-made, and it has a little card to go with it, but I don't, I'm going to make my own card. But, um... It had so much uh, glue here, you know, to hold it down when you were supposed to use it in a different way. But what I did is I took some of this paper, and I'll show you where that's from because this is one of my favorite paper pads ever, and I've had it for a while. The Theodosia Square. You get 180 sheets. Now this, uh, as you all know, is from the paper studio. Um, when they had it 50% off, I got it for $10. And I use it a lot. And I use it in this journal a lot too, you'll see. And I've used it before and it makes fantastic envelopes. It makes, it's just, to me, it's just yummy. I really, really like it. And um, that's where I got this. And what I did, just because I thought, oh, mercy, I don't want to see all that goo up there. So I just took it and held it up to my light so I could, you know what I mean, so you could get the picture on the exact picture on it you want. And I wanted to get that little shoe on there. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That reminds me of Trina. <laughs> and uh, then I just inked around it with the vintage photo and um, inked around here too. Had to puff it out like that so I wouldn't mess that up. 
Um, you can put a little trim here. I might end up doing a trim here and, and something here. But, you know, you can put, um, it's going to cover that up, but you can put this here, you know. And, again, if you want it uh, to use as a pocket on your journal, put all kinds of goodies in here, can't you? And But just wanted to show you that it's possible. And then um, I also, while I was looking, I have... They're kind of like little gift cards, really. Um, like what you would, the little three by threes or what have you, or, or different sizes that you would put with a gift, you know. And I also had this one. I thought this is what we could do today. If you don't want to make your own or you don't have the supplies to make your own. I did find this one. This is, uh, was in... That's, I think, the same section. What was it? It was a dollar fifty section in Michael's back in the day, <laughs> a couple of years ago. And um, I thought this. Now I really like this card that comes with it, and it's scholar. I love scholar, anything almost. And this looks like um, it's just so precious. It looks like it's um, Ivet to me. And what I like when this is kept open. You know, when your envelope flap is kept open. I like things to go higher. Does this make any sense? To keep it open. Do you know what I mean? This will keep it open. <laughs> and um, what I did so far, because, you know, it takes me forever and a day, is I went ahead with my, thank heavens, because I love me some Dollar Tree with my Dollar Tree. A makeup little what a, a plier I don't know. and um, go ahead and use this <laughs> this is looking really ratty right now but it's color works pigment ink and it has a um, I use it all the time and it's still working which is I think wonderful but it has like a, if you can see, I don't know if the light is picking up, it's a little pearlized element to it. So fun. So I just inked around there and there and, you know. But since it was pre-made, I couldn't do these. And that's okay. Inked around here so it gave us a little interest there. And then um, Haley Southern Belle had gifted some lace to me. And so I thought I just... And I had some, you know, little um, stray pieces that I thought, well, I didn't want to cut it straight down. So I kind of cut out some of the lace to give a, a little more interest there. thought we'd put that here. Then I have a small um, little scallop circle. I'm going to cover up that flower, but I'm going to add another flower. And then remember, this is my favorite ribbon that I used on one of the tags, and I had a little scrap left over. Thought we'd put that there, and then put one of these darling little flowers from Hobby Lobby. The Paper Studio had them out. Do like so. Put this like so. And um, that'll be uh, used as either a pocket in here or to be placed inside of a pocket. So let's do that together. And this, because of this uh, Tim Holtz ephemera piece, it's so gorgeous to me that I don't want to cover it up with, you know, stuff inside of it. I just, I think the little card inside is enough. And I might want to use um, pink ink to write with, you know, on the card. <laughs> so let's do that together. And here's hoping, let me look one more time to make sure I'm in frame. Yeah, okay. Alrighty. So, let's do that together. Okay. So, how are you all doing? How y'all holding up? We just keep, it just keeps going and going, doesn't it? So, again, if you don't want to make your own or you don't have that, just a smaller envelope or even an envelope even if you want a larger one, but as long as it fits your pages, you know. 
go that way. So when it comes to the lace, um, a lot of times my first go-to is Fabri-Tac, but I have learned that if the lace is very, very delicate, then my Fabri-Tac, you can see it through it because it does dry clear, but it dries glossy. Eh, I'm not a huge fan of that, personally. So let's do this. Let's put our... Although, since I have a large section here and two large sections here that can hold it down, maybe we will do that. Let's give it a go. So what are you all, if you get a chance, let me know what you all are working on. I know a lot of journals are being made at this time and cards. And how lovely is that to make a card at this time? You know, um, just to tell somebody I'm thinking of you. Uh, I hope you're holding up well. Hope everything's okay, you know. How beautiful is that to do, I think. Let's do like so. Yeah. I got a little, that's the one thing with Fabri-Tac, you don't want to get too heavy handed with it on lace. With other stuff, yeah, okay. But not on the lace, so there we go. And then, since we are going to be on lace, whoopsity, I've got a little glue string on me. Since we are on lace again, I, sh I know I should have left that upside down. <laughs> Y'all, when I was tea dyeing that paper yesterday, um, I was using a spoon between each paper to um to spread it, and <laughs> and um, I got tired of doing that. So what I did was I um, my I took my hand and I've got my skin is a little bit tea dyed my nails are tea and I don't care how much you're scrubbing it's like uh -uh. <laughs> so um, y'all gonna laugh at me so I thought well I wear a lot of rings when I craft anyway but I I put on even. I put on these rings to hope, hopefully distract you from my tea-stained fingers. <laughs> oh, mercy. And I usually use for this, well, I'm going over, uh, I usually use my art glitter glue, but I'm going over ribbons, so we might go ahead and just try to dabble a little bit on the oh yeah we can do it let's do like so and this little bead in the center even though it is adorable because it is um, if it messes up you know because it, it does have a nice little hard place on it um, I might go, a lot of times I take it off and then I just get out my stickles and put a little, uh, or my uh, liquid pearls and put a little dab in the middle there. And um, let's see, let's do this. How far up do I want to go and how far over? Oh, almost exactly like that. And we're only going to do part of it. Okay. And see, by leaving this open, I've got this nice little um, ball of glue on the end of here. <laughs> okay. Now, kind of like so. I know 
we're covering up some of our scallops, but look what we're covering it with. Forget-me-nots, roses, lily of the valley. Yum. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? I love Tim Holtz. I think he's yum. Well, his husband thinks he's yum, too, but. I think I've had several ladies agree with me. He's just so talented, so nice. Okay, so see, and then we can put that, you know, in our in our journal if we want to here, um, because I don't want to cover up those scissors there. Something like that, you know? Let's see what it looks like. I think I have a dark, no. No, see, that would be too fussy. -y. Well, I don't know. That's not hideous, is it? That's a maybe too. <laughs> and I didn't want to keep you all too long this time because we all know that that's what I usually do. But, um, I want to thank you all for joining me, and we'll get to this. Like I said, I don't want to keep you a long time, but we'll get to this next time. Uh, not next time with Craft With Me, but, you know, I'll show you when I show my project share. But I want to decorate some here, and like I said, probably have something like that. But, yeah. So, I just want to thank you all so much for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody.